Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create columns in Tecla structures with a given example. Now this PDF example is available in my website. Please go to my website. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here and scroll it down. You can see now I have PDF example at here. Practice this example along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with the Indian environment. Now let's open our example. In our example, we have a column with ISMB 300 with a column height 4000 from zero level. Now orientation like this in the section view, you can see. Now we're going to create this column. So open Tecla structures with Indian environment. Now go to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Now let's type here elevation on grid and copy it and paste here. Now click on create and OK and click on OK. We're now going to create columns with reference with this example. So select this column and click on here to place the column right click on mouse interrupt you can see by default we have column like this now i'm going to edit this column according to this example so double click on this column you need to left click on it so double click on it and you'll get like this by default we have profile ismb 400 but in our example we have ismb 300 so click on here profile catalog in the list standard list you need to select ismb 300 now click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result here you can see now this column profile should be ismb 300 now coming to height now we have this column bottom level is zero so scroll it down and we need to enter here bottom level zero on top level from zero to top of this column we have 4000 so we need to enter here 4000 now click on modify you will get like this now close this window now use the shortcut ctrl i for view list now select this plan at zero and click on it and close it here you can see now have column like this okay now currently we have orientation like this in the section view so we need to rotate this view so double click on this column now under rotation you can see type here 90 degrees then click on modify you will get like this according to our example like this you can see in our example we have column orientation in a horizontal direction so we need to rotate like this now click on this window and select this 3d view you can see you will get like this now click on space right click on mouse to view now I'm going to create second example scroll it down in our PDF we have second example like this with the orientation like this now select this column and click on here to place the column right click on mouse interrupt double click on this column to open the column property window here now we have the column profile ISMB 450 so click on here and select ISMB 450 now click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result you can see now this column profile should be ismb 450 now we need to change the bottom level and top level so you can see now this bottom level is from 300 from ground level 0 so bottom level you need to enter here negative minus 300 uh, to move this column downward direction so top level let's take from ground to top of this column we have 5500 so let's take here top level 5500 now click on modify to see the result you can see now this bottom level should be 300 and from 0 to top level should be 5500 you can see in the elevation also go to the elevation along grid 1 so click on window and select this view list 
now select the elevation on grid 1 click on here you can see now I have bottom from zero level and we have top level like this now I'm going to measure this dimensions later so click on window and select this 3d view now this orientation should be in this direction go go to the plan view planet zero you can see now we have second column orientation should be vertical direction like this so we need to rotate this one enter here 90 degrees then click on modify you can see now we have vertical direction like this now close this window here click on space right click on mouse to view now coming to the third example in our third example we have the pipe profile pipe 300 by 6 thickness so now I'm going to create this pipe so click on this column and click on here if you get this window you need to click on this expand option right click on mouse interrupt now zoom it here now we have by default we have a previous column profile so double click on it and I'm going to change the column profile click on window and select this 3d view now I'm going to change the column profile you can see we have pipe 300 by 6 thickness so click on here profile catalog and by default we have I section profile here so minimize it and we need to select this circular hello section so click on this plus symbol now select this pipe now we need to enter here outer diameter 300 according to our example we have 300 and thickness 6 thickness so we need to enter a thickness here 6 then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have pipe profile like this if you want to change the color of this pipe you can click on here and you can choose uh, in the list then click on modify you'll get like this now coming to pipe height top level and bottom level bottom level we have 200 from zero level top side so you need to enter here 200 in positive direction and the top level we need to enter from zero level from zero to top of this pipe should be 3800 plus 200 total 4000 so we need to enter here 4000 instead of 3800 3, okay now click on modify you can see now I have pipe from ground to bottom of this pipe should be 200 according to this option on the top level 4000 uh, from ground zero level now close this window and click on space right click on mouse redraw view now click on this window and select this plan view you can see now we have pipe like this like this in the section cc okay now i'm going to measure this dimensions in elevation view so click on window and select this elevation on grid 1 now we're going to measure this uh, column height so click on this edit and select this measure and select the vertical distance and now we have dimension from 0 to top of this column 4000 so select here 0 and second point we need to click on here left click on here at the top of this column and click on here to place the dimension okay you can see now we have 4000 according to this example now coming to second example in our second example we have the bottom level from 0 to bottom of this column should be 300 so zoom it here and click on here first point on 0 level and pick the second point at the bottom of this column and click on here to place the dimension you can see now we have 300 now from 0 to top of this column should be 5500 so pick the first point here and pick the second point at the top of this column and click on here to place the dimension you can see now we have 5500 according to this option now coming to third one from ground to bottom of this pipe should be 200 so pick the first point here and pick the second point at the bottom of this pipe and left click on here to place the dimension you can see now we have 200 spacing from 0 to bottom of this pipe now coming to from bottom of this pipe to top of this pipe should be 3800 so pick the first point here and zoom out and zoom in here and pick the second point at this location and use the left mouse key to place the dimension you can see now i have 3800 according to this option for zoom in zoom out use the scroll button or scroll the scroll wheel to zoom in or, or zoom out 
like this okay right click on interrupt to remove this checking dimensions you can click on space and right click on mouse redraw view to erase the all dimensions checking dimensions now click on window and set this 3d view you can see now we have pipes and columns like this okay that's it about how to create columns in tecla structures with given example if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you